is at me for Make Life Your Runway. Guys, I know I said you wouldn't see me to the new year, but I was calculating some dates in my head, and I was like, girl, you gotta film now. And I'm like, well, if I'm filming now, I might as well start posting now. So, should be New Year's Eve while you watch this, so happy New Year's Eve, happy new year. I hope you are all doing well and had a great Christmas holiday if you celebrate. Hopefully you just had a wonderful time with your family. We had a great time. It was good. It was a mix of like family chaotic, like in a good way, but still relaxing and time to decompress. Lots of good food. It was good. Uh, okay, in today's video, we are going to do a makeup haul. None of this is new releases. Some are some things I picked up from Sephora's sales, uh, a palette that I got from FabFitFun, and then one of you guys sent me a huge box of makeup. So we're going to go through that. I'm going to haul it and then we're going to categorize it and we'll talk about that makeup as well. So if you like makeup and organization and just hanging with your makeup, wherever that may be, then this is the video for you. Grab a drink. I have water and let's just hang out for a while. <laughs> And talk about makeup. Here we go. All right, so I did get my FabFitFun in December, and I didn't haul it because it, it took a really long time to get here because of all the shipping around the holidays. So by the time it finally got here, I was just like so excited to open it up and start using the stuff and put it away. So I'm sorry I didn't haul it. But this came in the box, the True Luscious uh, Lucky Glow Face Palette which looks like this and you open it up and look how huge the pan size is but this is a face palette so we have um, bronzer we have our contour some blushes and some highlights so I'm excited to use this and actually the box of makeup that I'm going to show you guys and talk about in a moment uh, there is another one in there as well, so I'll pass that along to somebody. I didn't end up taking my makeup to the I declutter to my family because it was just too much, but we're going to be there again in a couple weeks, so we'll just do it then. Also, before we move on, this awesome shirt, it says, uh, Radiant pos Radiate Positivity. Y'all, if you watch Vlogmas, you know we're on a Walmart kick. We've been on the kick for a little while now. And uh, this is from the men's section. It's a medium, and it was under $6. Also, what's on my nails is also from Walmart. <laughs> Freudian. There it is. Flip. And it's this really pretty, like, shifty color. And look how pretty it is on the nails. I did them last night, so they look nice and fresh. But look how beautiful. Jared actually picked this color out because we were going through the nail polishes together. And I was showing him that this is my favorite brand there. And these are smaller than the ones you get at other stores. And so they are a little bit cheaper. Um, and he's like, oh, you should get this color. And I was like, you know, I should. And I think it's beautiful. So love that. And okay, I think those are the only two things. And my hair is wild. I'm getting it uh, like trimmed up next week so she's just wilding right now she's just wilding okay back to sephora so one of you guys gifted me a sephora gift card for christmas so penny thank you so much and this is what oh i used the gift card and then i used 20 percent off and then i paid the difference but i was like this is the time because we went big here this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder this is the iconic powder that everybody talks about on youtube so i got mine and fair one fair and you know i haven't used it yet but i was kind of like shocked it's not that heavy like you know how some expensive makeup has like weight to it like hourglass does but this one it feels really light but we've all seen the packaging here and i'll open she's fresh fresh look at her Ooh. so you know I'll talk about it once I use it, but I wanted to haul it before using it. So I was really excited for that. So thank you again, Penny. So kind and generous. You guys don't have to do it, but it means a lot. It just means a lot. All right, so then Sephora was having 20% off of clearance. So this is a separate order that I placed 
Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, something like that. So the first thing is what I have on my lips, which Too Faced Melted Matte, you guys know, is one of my favorite lips lipsticks, uh, especially for matte lips, but this is in cinnamon rolls. So these typically are about $21, $22 full price. And I believe this is limited edition. Yeah, it says limited edition. Smells like fresh baked cinnamon rolls. And yes, it does. It smells delicious. But this color is like a beautiful year round color. So with the clearance price and then the additional 20% off, I think it was about $13 or so. Um, so not a bad deal and I do have it on my lips. I think it's nice like it's natural-esque like very wearable for daily so love to have another one of these in my collection. I've been wanting this for so long but uh, it's so much money full price. Someone's getting a new sweatsuit because they've been a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all if you watch Vlogmas you know Jared more so Jared, but he's getting me into it, or into matching sweatsuits. That's right. I think his collection has doubled since you guys last saw him. <laughs> but, uh, Gap. So we've never gotten matching suits from Gap, but they're having clearance, so we both got one. Did you get your camo? Yep. Oh, you got camo, and then I got, like, a blue tie-dye. Okay, so this palette is so expensive full price that I can never bring myself to purchase it. But it's Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. Oh my gosh. It was on sale for $33 or something like that. And then 20% off. Ooh. Okay. And it has like even beautiful like outer packaging. Look at that. Like yes please. And here we are. We'll open it up. Like I said, not a new palette, but new to me. So I'm excited to use a lot of these shimmer shades. And I think the mattes are fun. And then the pastels, like the green here. Uh, it's going to take me outside my comfort zone. So I'm excited to use this guy. Um, you guys, again, will hear me talk about it for sure. And this has some good weight. Now, this feels like an expensive palette. All right, that's what we're... We're here for for my weekly makeup basket since it usually goes up on Friday, but we did that winter capsule uh, like two weeks ago. So that's what I've been using and loving, and that was the perfect amount of makeup to pull. Um, it's great. So um, that's what I'm using for the weekly makeup basket since we're not posting it this week. But that was everything that I had hauled from Sephora. So I'm really excited to have those products here here's what happened so I was thinking about my channel and how what kind of videos I'd like to film and my makeup collection with wanting to not grow certain categories but I still want to buy makeup and I still want to enjoy makeup I just don't want to be like extreme about it you know so finding that balance where we're still bringing in new stuff but we're not overdoing it but I also don't want to do like a no buy or a low buy or anything like that. I did my makeup inventory and we went through every category so you got to see everything that's in my collection and I talked about which categories I would like to keep the same size or reduce or that I'm open to grow. So over the holiday when everything was on sale and I was really thinking about it and I picked up those items I was like you know what I just want to do a monthly haul it's just a couple of things not too much makeup and make it mostly like blush eyeshadows like those kind of um, products because I don't want to grow my foundation basically my liquid so like my foundations concealers primers setting sprays I don't really want to grow that part of my collection but I still want to play with makeup I still love makeup and I still want to have fun content for you guys for my channel so Angela subscriber hey girl was like I want to send you some makeup she sent this a little while ago so I got my PO box uh, a little while ago as well and so I was like well you don't have to but I'm open to receiving it if you'd like to send it so just send it to my PO box y'all I was expecting like just a few things like I wasn't expecting literally a box full <laughs> of makeup and it's all makeup a couple things were lightly used but overall 98% of it is brand new never used and it's a mix of skincare eyeshadow blush highlights that's the majority of it um 
Did I say brushes? There's some brushes in there. And a couple lipsticks. I was so blown away. I messaged her immediately. I was like, wow. <laughs> like, that is so generous. I wasn't expecting it. And she's like, yeah, I'm so happy to give it to you. She said she kept in mind, like, what I have in my collection and what my preferences are. And, um... She had it to give, and she wants me to, if I want to, use it for content. And I was like, what perfect timing that I was like, I want new makeup to explore, and then here comes this huge box. So I'm only sh sharing it to, as a sharing piece and also for us to explore makeup together. Um, I know a lot of us are on no buys or trying to limit our makeup. So, you know, maybe get, call a friend who also likes makeup and you guys exchange makeup. It doesn't necessarily always have to be buying to get the new makeup. It can be exploring your friend, if you don't mind sharing with them, uh, their makeup and that kind of thing. So, I was like, this is a perfect way to be able to talk about products with you guys. Some of these are throwback products that maybe you haven't used in a while. Some are products I've never used before, and I'm just really excited for all of it. So we're going to haul it together. I'm going to have to angle you guys down. Then we're going to organize it by category. And then in future weekly makeup baskets will keep my winter capsule collection out because it will have like the products to fill in what these aren't because like I said these are mostly like um eyeshadows blush that kind of thing so we will pull from this for upcoming weekly makeup basket so we can explore the makeup together talk about the makeup together and maybe it's something that's been hidden in your collection so it can hopefully inspire you to get deep 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 back there in your collection and play with it because ultimately I think makeup is just meant to be used played with explored artsy if you want whatever you want it's just that, that's why we buy it so we need to use it so let me set you up on the floor and let's go through this Ooh, girl all right so here's the box of makeup and it is huge it's filled all the way up to the top so let's go through these beautiful products all right so i'm trying to think the best way to do this i have some containers to the side and i think as i go through the products we'll do eyeshadows in one we'll do the um face products in another and then let me use this sephora box called makeup came in and let's do skincare in there and then I'll just put the makeup brushes to the side I think all right coming in coming in trying to get the best angle all right so here we have this is <laughs> origins hot cream wow that was really hard to say this is gonna be great uh I've never heard of this brand but I need eye creams and moisturizers really bad so I'm excited to try this we'll put that in the skincare I'm not going to say that. I'm excited for everything, but maybe I will. This is an ice roller from Kit Kittish. I have heard of that brand, and uh, I've never used one of these, but I see people doing using them on TikTok or pulling them out of their freezer and using them, and I think that sounds amazing. So I'll put this with the skincare. Ico, I've tried mascaras from them before, but I have not tried liners, and I've been wanting to try um, this type of gel liner for a while, because I have always been bad with it, but I feel in my soul maybe I could be better. Maybe I, I'm ready for it. So there is an eyeliner. We'll put that with the eyes. This is um, St. Lux Eyeliner Trio. Um, I haven't heard of this one either, but again... I feel like I'm in the season of my life for eyeliners. <laughs> Beautiful brush set as a medic for the brushes, but then there is a little Dominique Cosmetics palette in here. So we'll put brushes to the side. I've never used this brand, which is shocking. I just watched her makeup declutter recently, and yeah, I was like, girl, I've never used your makeup, but look how pretty these are. These would be really pretty for fall, and they're very similar tones to that new Huda palette I got um and I love the sweater texture on here oh my gosh so I really love the formula and of these hello halo from wet n wild and this one is from uh flash me and I think this uh blush this pink of blush is so pretty I don't know about the highlight but look how gorgeous that is 
Ooh! So as I use these, if they the colors work for me, I'll keep them. And if they're a little darker off, then I'll pass them along. But that's beautiful. There is a couple of brush sets like this from Lux. And oh my god, I I can't wait to use these. I was just really looking at buying new brushes, not that I need them, but that's where I, that's what I was doing, so I'm excited to get those. Elf Flawless Eyeshadow. This is in Golden Goddess. I haven't used this this particular product from them in so long that I'm curious after the time gap what my thoughts would be on it. We'll find out. Ofra, I've never tried anything other than highlighters from her. And this is the Good To Go palette. And, okay, this is like a classic highlighter. Does it say what it is? All of the lights? Okay. Um, a blush, bronzer, and then eyeshadows. I, every time I watch declutter videos and people go through their Ofra palettes and they usually end up keeping them, I'm like, oh, I want one so bad. Um... So we'll try this good to go one soon. Is that eye or face? It has both. It has both. Let's just put it with it. eyes. We'll put it with eyes. Um, this is a brand I'm not familiar with. Kenya. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. But this is a set and define kit. Pretty packaging. <gasps> yes. Yes. It kind of looks like what is it luminoso or like the nars orgasm um but i like the idea of having the blush setting and it says highlight but i think that would be a blush on me we'll find out though okay i love these these are reusable face cleansers or cleansers pads i have a few of these and they're de I feel like they're one of those things you just can't have too many of. So I'll add them to my collection that I actually need to wash because that's the holdup with me in these. I use them and then I forget to wash them for a long time. Like they're in the bag to be washed and then I forget about it. And then I wash them I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. It's, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's a couple of bags that she packed this so well. Nothing broke. She had things bubble wrap. She had um, paper. There was foam. Um, I did. I took all that off out off camera because I knew it would be like a long time of you guys watching me unpackage that. Um, but she did a really great job packaging and used so many cute bags for that. Here is skincare Kylie Skin. I've never used this, but this this is her foaming face wash, and I feel like you can never have enough face wash. So here's what it looks like on the outside. Here's another bag that it is basically like sample products like a like a sample kit i think but i think she threw some other stuff in here as well this is an ofra blush oh that is so pretty candy apple that's stunning okay blush there's a couple ofra ones in here um there is a bang benefit mascara there is a cleansing balm for dry skin, which I do have dry skin, so appreciate that. Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Putty. I feel like I've seen this brand before. And we have a Dr. Jart. I used to have a sample of this, but I don't think I ever used it, so we'll have to try it out. And then, ooh, Tarte Tartist. Uh, this is a double take eyeliner. Here's a palette. This is the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed. I've never tried this brand, but their packaging is so cute. And it's an eyeshadow palette that's a little bit of a cooler tone. I love this kind of burgundy color. And I really haven't used cool tone eyeshadows in a while. This is a uh, trans. Tree, tree stick. Oh my gosh, I don't remember how to say this, but this is a mascara. I remember this brand it used to be pretty big a while ago, especially when it was an Ipsy, and maybe it still is an Ipsy. But what is this? Oh, it curls your lashes and it's a mascara. That's pretty unique. Okay, I bet this is a Pure Lease Matcha Green Tea. Um, antioxidant priming moisturizer. How cute. Skincare. This is e.l.f. Uh, highlight pearl paint and gold star. That's so pretty. So that is highlight. That's face. This is so pretty. Moods is the palette. 
Laura Sanchez and this has eyeshadows and some face products. This is a little bit of a brighter color. Um, that's really pretty and the outer packaging is great. Alright, Jaclyn Hill girl. This is the Ring the Alarm, one of her mini palettes. I think this is this and that face palette that I showed earlier are the only things that came in this box that I already own. So I'll definitely pass this along. But this is a beautiful palette. It's kind of hard to use it all at once, but the colors are really nice. Uh, it's definitely good for a pop of color. All right, so... Um, these masks I do like. I got some in I think Fab Fit Fun a while back and I've already used them up and I think they're nice masks because they sit on the face. <laughs> like I know that's like should be like a pretty like norm. They don't all actually sit on your face but this is 111 skin and a box of these. How many are in here? Five. So that's great. A MAC blush. I am so excited to use this one. This one is called Gentle. And I love colors that have a little bit of a sheen to it. That With my dry skin, I think that just looks the best. Another pretty bag. Look at those colors. That was an uh, Ipsy bag. Ipsy's come a long way with their bags. Okay, Ipsy. Here we have um, Complex Culture. This is a facial massager. Ah. How does this work? Does it just, you just rub it along. Okay. I'm going to figure that out. That's cool. Alright, we have a few masks in here. My favorite type of mask are the ones you wear overnight or face masks. So I love having all of these options and they will definitely get used. This is Butter London Teddy Boy. I feel like, wasn't this like talked about at some point I don't know but another really pretty cool toned sh uh, shadow palette but this kind of taupey color is one of my favorites like sorry I hit you guys but uh this in a crease with like one of these shimmer colors like so freaking pretty um this will be great and the packaging is cute y'all all right here is another eye liner but it's a little bit different it's fatter so I if I can't get this down, it's me, y'all. <laughs> a couple of skincare here. We have um, a Hydration Happy Hydrating Face Mist. So I love face mists um, for one particular reason. I mean, there's many ways to use them. So I will definitely get use out of this. And then this is a um, Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser. So this will make my face nice and smooth okay so more brushes which i am so freaking excited about i just feel like you can't have enough and then another uh set here <laughs> yeah. she wasn't playing um this is grown alchemist this is an age repair gel mask oh what is it okay there it is that looks legit shoot Ooh, peptides. I was just watching a TikTok of someone talk about how you have to have peptides in your skincare routine. So that's great. All right, Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I don't own anything by Rihanna. And that is a freaking shame. But now I do. <laughs> and I love it. I remember when this came out. Look at those jewel tones. My, one of my favorite color combos is to put like a brown like this in the crease and then a beautiful gold on the lid. It's like a two and done eyeshadow look that's absolutely stunning. What am I going to use first? That's going to be like the, the challenge here. Um, we have Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. And I've heard so many good things. I believe um, Nicole Guerrero really loves this one. Here's a Yenza. I don't know. This is a BP. Oh, BB plus CC cream. I don't know why I didn't notice there was a BB cream in here. Oh, and that looks like it will be a good color. There's SPF 40. All right. Mascara. Definitely need mascara. That's the Colossal. I am using a Colossal. I don't know that it's this one, but I, I like it. 
<laughs> All right, this is e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. I actually have never tried this. It's the Radiant Glow. This e.l.f. highlighter I know is super popular, but I still haven't tried it. It's the White Gold. Look how pretty that is. We have Love in London. This is a BH Cosmetics uh, palette. I love their palettes. And look how beautiful this is. This is a little bit of a warm and cool tone. I don't think I've really used a blue color like this before. So this will be fun to dive into. I've tried their palettes like this um, that are face, but I haven't tried their eyes. Pure, this is 4-in-1 Skin Perfecting Powder. I didn't open up everything. Fair light, but yeah, we're talking. Okay, that looks really pretty. What is it, like their press powder? Is that the same as this? Oh, it's a translucent bronze blush and highlight. I love a face palette. Come on now. Come on now. I think if my collection grew... If one category of my collection grew huge, like out of control, it would be face palettes. I just can't get enough of them. Here's an Essence Blush Lighter. It's a gradient powder blush that looks absolutely stunning. I've been eyeing this at CVS for like probably literally a year at this point. This is Revolution Highlighter Over or Reload Dare to Divulge. Like look how freaking gorgeous that is. Uh, I'm so happy to have that one. Here's a little palette from Makeup Revolution from their um, their chocolate bar range. This is Rose Gold Glow. <gasps> They're highlighters. I don't know why I was thinking it would be eyeshadows, but oh my gosh. Yep, I'm excited for that. Um, matte bronzer. Look, you can't tell me nothing about bronzer. I love them all. I've never heard of this brand. Here is what the outside looks like. I think this will be a good skin tone, or a match for my skin tone. All right, we have some sponges. I've never tried the BH uh, Studio Pros, but I have tried the L'Oreal, and I really love them, so these will be you. Okay, I told y'all, Angela was not playing. She was so freaking generous. Um, LA Girl Strobe Light, this one is in 110 Watt. The, these are pretty. I've had them before. I can't remember if I had this color or a different color, but they're stunning. I'll definitely get use out of that. Essence Blush. This one is in Beloved. How pretty is that? So I think that will be... I noticed a few of the blushes are like this similar tone, and I think that that's actually going to be really cool to use in a good match for me. Natasha Denona Blush and Glow. I have never tried these from her, so there's this one. Let's see, we have a few blushes here. So, an Essence Mosaic, Mosaic, hello. This one is Berry Connection, beautiful. Satin Blush, this one is in Satin Love. I used to have this one and it broke, so I'm excited to use that again. This is Unicorn Glow, this is Cotton Candy. That's pretty, that's kind of like a peachy tone. I've gotten way more adventurous with my blushes. I've been using that Blush Bazaar, the older palette, over the last week, and I was going hard in those bright blushes, and I was feeling cute. All right, Natasha Denona Super Glow, um, 01 Fair. Y'all know that's my highlighter, my highlighter tone. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so this is Under Eye Volumizing Collagen Pads. This is Give Them Lala Beauty. Oh, is that Lala from MTV? Does she have makeup? Yes, 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 pretty. Here's the one I was saying that I I got it in my FabFitFun and then it was in here. So I'll definitely pass this along. We have ColourPop, this is a pressed powder blush in Catch My Vibe. Love ColourPop, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Love. Georgia. This, okay, so I have this in a palette. So we'll have to compare uh, this formula to the one in the palette. We have some more blushes. This is a Nomad. What is this? A Kiss of Sun highlighter. Yes, please. That's my tone. That's my tone. Hello. That's my tone. I 
never tried shop AOA. Is that what it's called? Shop Masse. Um, but this looks really pretty and glowy. Just my type of product. Here's a Flower Beauty um, blush. Um, peach Primrose. Pretty. Um, this is a Sunlit Glow Silk Bronzing Base. Oh, it's a cream bronzer. It's the same line as that BB cream. Okay. <laughs> we need to do a video of Abby using products she's scared of, and it's going to be all cream products uh, because this looks stunning, and I want to use it, but I'm terrified. All right, so we have another skincare. This is another eye cream. I've never tried this brand, Stravictin, but I always see it. Um, I love Derma E. This is the Radiant Glow Facial Oil. Excited to use that. Murad Sensitive Skin Smoothing Serum. Um, this is a Hydrating Primer. I didn't see that. There was a primer in here. All right, we'll have to try that out. I'm gonna. This is Get Gleaming Body Glow. Y'all need to glow. This will be a, another one of those products Abby's scared of body glow products. Do you guys see how pretty that is? Wow. Yeah. We gotta we gotta explore. Can't be scared, y'all. Can't be scared. Here's Ofra banana powder. Can't wait. Love a good banana powder under my eyes, mostly. Hopefully that's a good color for me. We have Violet Voss. This is the uh, Violet Sunrise Palette. <gasps> yes! Look at those warm colors with this pop of purple. That Violet Sunrise color is stunning. Ooh. All right, y'all. Jared's in the kitchen. You know how we do over here. All right, so we have Soft Focus Glow Drops. These uh, Illuminating Ultra Glow Primer. You Glowy primer, that's my that's my thing. That's my thing. Oh gosh, I'm so bad at opening these boxes. You remember my Fat Fit Fun? The last one I showed how it looked like a dog tore it up, but it was me. <gasps> Look how pretty. <laughs> yes. Oh man, I'm so excited to use that. Yeah, Jared was like, dang girl, that's awesome. Send all of your goods to the box. <laughs> Ooh, another roller. We love that. You guys don't have to send me anything, but if you do, I will talk about it in videos. Unless you don't want me to. <laughs> or your husband, me. <laughs> uh, this is a moisturizing cream. And then this is Joe Lip Gloss. Joe, Joe. What is this? Oxford Street. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I never tried this formula from them. I love the Wet n Wild Coconut Spray. That will definitely get used. We have a few more blushes. We have Flower Beauty. This one is Spiced Petal. And then we have this one, which is Sweet Pea. We have another Unicorn Glow. This one is in Honey. We have Color Rain Facial Point Glow Highlights. What does this look like? Lily is sniffing my containers. <gasps> yep. That's good. We like that. So we have two dogs, and Jared's cousin has a puppy that she is trying to rehome. And I swear, okay, that puppy's wild, but it's like puppy energy. It's a sweet cuddler. Um, we met the puppy at Thanksgiving. This is Butter London. Yep. Yep, those are my colors. Um... <laughs> If we didn't have two dogs, I would definitely talk, be serious about wanting to get the puppy. But could you imagine Morty with a puppy? Oh my gosh. Morty would like, would he still talk to us? Uh -uh. <laughs> Hip Dot. Oh, I've heard of this brand. Beautiful outer packaging. And it's a highlighter palette. Oh, those, okay, that's going in the Abby Scared, except for Sheer, but I'm a little scared together. Okay, we gotta do that video. Iconic London, this is another beautiful face palette. This one is Blaze Chaser. Color, also, I feel like I've heard about this before. But, all right, my, my card was full. I had to um, erase some stuff, but <clears throat> excited for that. This is Derma E Advanced Peptides. Thank you, Collagen Moisturizer. 
so excited about that skincare. Girl, mm, mm, mm. All right, so we have quite a bit of blush in here. All right, zoomed it in a little bit. So we have an e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush. This one is an Always Punchy. You guys know I have Always Rosy, and it's like the color is a little bit off for me, but the formula is beautiful. Can't wait to try that out. <coughs> Excuse me, try that. So we have a Fit Me Blush. This one is in Rose. Beautiful, beautiful. Real Her, this is not your average uh, powder blush. And we have uh, blush drops from that same, I'm scared. Oh, I bet these are beautiful though. Oh my gosh. This uh, from Maybelline, the Cheek Heat. Here is a Man Eater. This is a, um, I believe, lip gloss in Buff. I have a uh, Fenty Beauty. This is mascara, and then we have a eyebrow pencil from B Brilliant Dollar Brows. This is deodorant. How crazy is that? This is Laura Geller in Gilded Honey Essential Lip Enhancer. <gasps> yes. I remember when this was the hottest little thing that came out, and I still see people use it all the time. Here in the bottom, there's a Huda Beauty lip product, and this one is in the color. This is Day Slayer by Huda Beauty. Cover Girl Trio of highlighters. It's called It's Lit. I guess that's the only name. This iconic flower beauty trio of highlighters. We have a lip oil by Car, a Kaleido Cosmetics. This is a highlighter. All right, we have another really pretty blush. Okay, I was like, girl, stop. Norvina ABH uh, palette. But look how freaking stunning this whole palette is. All right, Dragon Beauty, this is a matte lipstick. Look how gorgeous that color is. This color is bad bitch. Bad bitch. Dang. Dang. Uh, this is Cheek and Lip Double Duty by Wonder Beauty. That packaging. Oh, it's like a, a stacked. Oh, that's kind of cool. The Better Skin Company Bright Eye Now. This is an anti-puff, anti-dark circle serum. Just the last few things. So we have... Chella, this is a little, I believe this is like a mini palette. That is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a blush, this one. Candy Apple. Is that, did we open a mini in Candy Apple? I don't remember. But look how pretty these colors are. I see a bright gold. You know how I feel about a bright gold. Absolutely love them. Love the jewel tones in here. Brow Gel St. Lux. We have um, NYX Slip Tease. This is a lip lacquer in um, Outlook. Lifter, I love the Lifter uh, glosses. This one is in Petal. Lauren Conrad Lipstick in Shell. I don't think I realized she had makeup. It's <laughs> cute. Yeah have a pure lease this is a watermelon marshmallow peel off mask all for skincare I love the LA girl blushes oops sorry and this one is in just rosy he's in a while this is precious petals it's one of their highlighters Bobby brown longwear cream shadow stick and a golden pink <gasps> but that's really pretty this is Burt's Bees this is the uh, Rose cream. This is a cream eyeshadow. We have a uh, Frosé. This is a chrome paint by Tarte. Have a do Dr. Lip Tint. Ooh, I haven't tried a lip tint. Here is a uh, Auto Bomb Girl Power. It's a uh, blush by the Bomb. We also have Bronzilla, which I've been eyeing these bronzers. They've been out for years, but I've always been curious about them. So pretty. I haven't tried these. Are these the eye ones? This is in pink, pinky sweat. <laughs> this is a highlighter. <gasps> yes. Melted Chrome Eyeshadows by Essence. We have one in Zinc About You and also um, 
I guess they're both in Zinga Valley. They kind of look different initially, but how pretty are those? So highlighter, this little itty bitty thing. How freaking cute is that? This is um, Ciate London Matchmaker. It's one of their little blushes, and there's actually a couple in here. And Summer Love, it's absolutely a gorgeous one. And um, Angela sent me another one. Oh, I love that blush so much. And then here's another one from that line called Matchmaker, which I believe is just that little sample one we had. I can't wait to use that. That is so pretty, and I love like the glow that these blushes have. Uh, EOS Lip Balm, Real Her Brand, a blush, so pretty. This all right, so here's all the makeup we pulled out of that box. So these are the face products and lip products. These are all of the eye products, and then I put the skincare in this box that's overflowing. Thanks for being here for this video today. Please subscribe if you are new so you don't lose me in the internet world. I'm a small channel and it's easy to lose me. <laughs> um, thanks so much for being a part of this haul today. Thank you again Penny and Angela for uh, your gracious love and support of my channel. And I hope you're all well. Let me know which products or what kind of videos you want to see with these products down in the uh, comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.